Um, hi everyone, this is gonna be a very quick video about how to set up and how to use macros for Lords Mobile on your PC. Um, the first thing you guys gonna need is an emulator on your PC, obviously. Um, you can use any emulator you want. Today we're gonna be using BlueStacks 4. It is pretty much the smoothest running emulator besides Steam right now. The thing with Steam is even though it's the smoothest emulation of the game on PC, it does not support uh, macros natively, so you would, you ha you would have to use um, outside macros for it, which you know is doable, but um, not natively supported. So we're going to be using uh, BlueStacks. I'm going to leave the link in the description below as a good YouTuber would, which I'm not. And um, yeah, you just download the thing, you run the ins installation app. It's pretty much straightforward. There's nothing you can you can um, screw up with it. Um, once you have that, the next thing is going to be um, logging in. You're going to log into your account. You're going to basically treat it as any Android phone. And um, since it is emulating uh, an Android device, you will need uh, Google or Facebook logins to be able to use this. Um, once you are successfully logged in, you are um, going to be in your turf and everything. And um, the first thing that we're going to do here is um, going to be training some troops, right? Um, one thing that um, you guys are going to see throughout this video and throughout you guys using and creating macros is going to be alignment. Like you have to, you have to like try and make sure that you align things properly when you create the macro and like remember how you aligned it because it will make sure that whenever you go to use the same macro again you don't have to you don't have to set it up again right and what i mean by that is let's say you're in the barracks and um the way i do it is i line these two texts that say tier two and tier three troops in this case i try to make them as centered as possible from these two lines as you can see this this uh, middle part is moving while these two are not so what you know just trying to to align them properly so it doesn't click somewhere where you, where you don't want it to right another thing is when clicking these buttons in game you want to try to not click like on right on the edge because if you if you come to do the the same thing again um, due to placement of your screen of the moving part of the screen um, you might set it so that um, the click that you made on the edge will now be next to the button and won't click the button anymore right so we're gonna we're gonna try and make sure that we um, that we that we click the buttons in the middle or as far to the middle as possible right so the first thing you're gonna do is um, open up the macro recorder. As you can see, you can use uh, Control Shift Seven for it, or you can just click this button. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna record a new macro from here. So you click uh, Record New Macro. Duh. You um, click here, click there. Speed, Auto Use, Use and you finish it and we're done and um basically from here on out you re you rename it um so you can so you can keep better track of it you know because once you once you've been using this thing for i don't know say a, like a couple of weeks or a month you're gonna realize how how useful these macros are and you're gonna have a bunch of them so renaming them in advance is gonna make your life easier right so th the next thing that you're gonna do is click this cogwheel the settings um, the 
most important part about this is figuring out how many how many reruns of the same macro you want to do for training troops you could uh, you could either sit here and watch it and uh, babysit it until you think oh okay that's that's a fine amount or you could just set a number and you can just do uh, some quick math on this on how many you need let let's just say for for the purpose of this we're just gonna set this to 10 and um, another very important thing is we um, we're gonna make we're gonna make a, a an interval in between macro runs to make sure that uh, that it doesn't screw up the thing is um, most of these macros don't record past the last click so if there's been say uh, five clicks and um, after the fifth click even though there was uh, another two seconds before you stopped the macro recording those two seconds most for the most part on most macro recordings will not be recorded so what you want to do is you're gonna make this number at least one which will be one second in between each rerun of the macro right everything else here is you know adjustable but for the for the purpose of this um, macro we don't really have to change anything else so we're just gonna save it says change to saved so we can close this now and um, let's just run it and uh, sit back and really relax, relax while while our troops are being trained by themselves right and um, what I like to do is whenever I set up a new macro, I, I like to watch at least two or three runs of it just to make sure that everything is proper, that um, everything is at its spot, which this one is. So um, we did make that one properly. Um, once you once you figure out uh, once you figure out these these macros you you're gonna love them you're gonna want to use them for all sorts of things and um, for lords especially there is a lot of things that you can macro instead of doing it by hand as you can see um, in this second part of the video we're gonna be rebuilding these manners to infirms and um, just to give you an estimate right Rebuilding every single building is on average 2,700 clicks swapping from uh, full infirms to full manners and from full manners to full infirms again. 2,700, just one one swap, which is a lot of freaking clicks. And um, if you can save yourself some brain cells and some, um, you know, some time it really does go a long way in games like this but uh yeah i'll see you guys in uh in a few minutes here when um uh, when i finish up the troops and we go back to remaking infirms okay so to the second part of um of this whole thing um we're going to rebuild manners uh rebuild infirms from manners now um where we have to start is we have to take all of these down so you have to um the easiest way is to make all of these to level ones first because um the clicking is a bit different The required clicks are if that makes sense um, so the way this game's turf looks inside makes it so that you can't easily align these because if you see like you can see here when I when I go when I go to the right it like there's there's a very far right that you can't go further from so the the easiest way to go around this is to zoom in you wanna 
you want to zoom in to make your life easier and the alignment for these is a bit rough since as you can see that the, the game isn't really um, you know it, it isn't really made for this kind of stuff for zooming in inside your turf and whatnot like the graphics you, you see they overlap and everything but we're gonna pretend that that doesn't exist right so we're gonna make this macro and we're gonna go about it this way we're gonna click record new macro and we're gonna click here clip upgrade click upgrade and click free and we're gonna finish there and uh, we're gonna label it uh, building one and you go here you click infinite because you don't really you don't really need to tutor this because it, it goes by really fast and you can just you, you you will have to sit through this anyways because you have to go from building to building but um let's click play and let's watch it in action As you can see, pretty straightforward. It does its thing, what we just told it to do. And um, once I'm gonna I'm gonna finish all of these to the level of where you actually need helps to continue. And um, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so we're back to the last part of this video, which is gonna be um, finishing up these buildings once they are past the point of being able to be completed um, by just a free button and um, yeah let's just set this macro up real quick so you click on the building you click here you click there you click help you click speed you wait a little for the helps um, however much long like you want and um, you finish the building normally as you would All right rename it real quick and uh, again we have to go to the settings um, you will wanna make a number like you wanna you wanna edit the number of times this is gonna run um, I usually go to 24 before I wait for the helps and um, to do that we're just gonna make it 10 and again make a one second delay in between the reruns right save saved and um, yeah let's run it real quick again to be safe you should always watch the first few runs just to um, just to see if there's any issues you know there could be um, there could be a way in which you pressed a button that is like on the edge and the the macro might miss it or something like that so just watch the like first few runs just to make sure you're good and um, yeah from there it should be good to go Um, I really hope this helped at least somebody out and that um, at least somebody is going to have a much easier time um, doing their rebuilds and doing their true pushes. Thank you. Thank you very much for, for watching. Bye.